everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm back with this Valentine's project, and this is the ultimate Valentine's card. So um, you can see it's a nice 3D one here. And on the front, I've got rosettes, I've got an origami pocket, I've got these little um, die cut sentiments, beads, and then inside, I've got this lovely napkin fold card there that opens up so it's the same as the box that I done but this time I've just done the top there and that all closes with a nice little magnet and then here you've got this little envelope and as you open up this one inside a little card with another little wood veneer on it and on the back it says be my valentine so there's also a box for this which I'm going to do in the tutorial but I'm not showing you how to make everything on this because I've done a tutorial for everything on it so the uh, envelope is using the envelope punch board and it's using the very first um, measurement for the gift card. So it's a piece of five by five card and just follow the gift card um, instructions for that one. The napkin fold here is exactly the same as the napkin fold that I done in the tutorial previously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a little icon up here with all of the tutorials that I've used all in this one project. So you can just revert to those tutorials for the same. The size is everything. So this is a four by four napkin fold and it's a four by four napkin fold that I done in the tutorial. And like I said, that's for the gift card. On the front, this little origami pouch I done a tutorial for. So again, I'll share that. And the rosettes, um, this particular rosette is uh, scored at every quarter of an inch. That's to get this tiny one and it's, uh, scored it every quarter of an inch and it is half an inch wide. So that's the measurements for that. This will all be in my blog anyway, but again, I've done the rosette tutorial, but the size is slightly different, but the process and everything's the same. Um, and then I'm gonna talk you through the mat. So, and this main card itself and the box for it. So to make the actual shell, so the case for this card, this is on a piece of 11 by five and a quarter card and what you want to do is along the 11 inch side you want to score at five and a quarter and at five and three quarters so you will have this half an inch bind okay so that's that piece and then you just want to burnish on each of those score lines and it will give you your shell then i've got the mats that i'm using here so the the top one so the the white mats that i've used they're five by five and then the, whatever pattern paper you want to use on top, they're four and three quarters squared. So again, I've used a five by five mat there, and then this piece of paper on top is four and three quarters squared. I also done one on the back just to finish it off there as well. Um, just to show you bits that I've used, so these are these beads here, which I picked up from the range in the UK. You get so many, and I, I swear they were no more than a pound. Um, and they've got little hearts there as well, all sorts. But you can thread them on string, you could have them hanging on your card, um, all sorts of stuff. So that's those. Um, I've also got these, which are great, and they're all little hearts there. So I've used those um, kind of like on the envelope there and just dotted around. I grabbed all my heart dies and just die cut. So this is just a die cut heart. The belly band for this measures at... Um, oh, what have I got there roughly it's nine and a quarter so that's the belly band and again the same mats there on the back all the triangles for this are all in that tutorial so I think I've explained everything there this is purely to give you um, kind of inspiration on how to decorate yours use heat embossing die cuts I've got shimmer card there I've got another embellishment a little light cut glass heart which are these, which I've used as well before. The papers are, as I've mentioned in the previous tutorials, it's from last year, Dovecrafts. Um, they're beautiful, but again, I'll share the links to their current package, um, package their current paper pack. Um, but you can see I've still got loads and I've used a lot of paper from this pack in this. So you get, you know, good value for money, that one. Right, so now to make the box for it, to present it in, you're going to need two pieces of no, sorry, not two pieces of the same size. So you need one piece of seven and three eighths of an inch squared, and then one piece of seven and a half inches squared. The mat on top of this one is, let me just, because this mat I've done to cover the whole lid, so there's not really even a border. Um, yeah, it's five and three eighths squared. 
sorry, just put them out there, five and three eighths squared. And then I finished it quite simply on top, so I've not dressed the box up too much because I want the wow to be with this when you open it. But I've used this wood veneer, which was from the works, and I, you can't pick it up, I don't think, but it's got Winker Stella. I've just kind of brushed my Winker Stella all over that wood veneer. You can also heat emboss these, um, and I share the link to the bag that I made where I heat emboss the wood veneers, because again, that gives a really, really nice effect. So if you want, if you've got coloured heat embossing powders and you want it to match, then you can do that as well. Okay, so. I'm going to grab my base first. So the base is the seven and three eighths of an inch squared, and you want to just score at yeah. If you want to score at one inch on all four sides, okay. So just rotate and score at one inch on all four sides, okay. Burnish all of those score lines. Go over mine again, actually, and then grab your lid. And this one, again, this should be your seven and a half inch side. You want to score at half an inch and then at one inch. And you want to do that again on all four sides. Half an inch and one inch, half an inch and one inch. Okay, and this is going to be reinforced. That's why we've got the half and one inch, so that it doesn't cover the whole side of your box. So if you imagine that's the side, that's the top of the box, it will cover halfway down like so, so it's easy to lift on and off. Okay, so get it dressed, as in decorated. I don't know why I say dressed, I always say that. Get your stuff dressed. Um, I just find it easier to do these things when it's flat. Um, and then we can start putting it together. So again, I'll grab the base, and you just wanna pick a side, any side, it doesn't matter, and just cut up here. And then rotate the whole thing, so you've got the opposite end now, and do the same. Okay, and then also if you just shear a little bit off the ends there, and that will just stop those bits sticking out the top of your box, like so. I'll take a little bit off the other one, the bottom as well. So you're just making these little tabs. Now I love using the craft card, and I thought the craft card worked really well with this Valentine's idea. It's got a bit of a shabby chic feel to it, plus this is so strong and durable, it does make it a really nice little keepsake, because I like to keep special cards and projects. I don't keep everything, and I don't expect people to keep everything, but when I'm doing something that's reinforced, it's on a really strong card, then I do kind of keep them. And also it's good to, you know, for inspiration and reference and stuff in the future. So just put some glue there on the outer parts there, or those tabs. Because it's um, the craft card, it's really fibrous, it takes the glue really well. So you just want to pull in each side, making sure that glue gets all nice and spread out, and you get a really nice right angle there. It doesn't take long to stick this glue, it's pretty instant. Or it absorbs in. Okay, so that's the box, so pretty straightforward, and then that will sit in there nicely. Okay, so we've got our lovely gift box coming together there. Get that glue off me, then grab your lid, and just as I do all the reinforced ones, so you've got this little square in the bottom right here with four squares inside. You want to cut up each of those like so. Okay. Then just rotate it, cut that one completely out, and cut the top of that one off. So you're just leaving that one square. So again, this one here, cut down. Okay, remove the two on the side, and then just cut off the top one. Okay, rotate the whole thing again, so you've got the opposite end facing you. Cut down. Out. Ignore those score lines I've done there. I made a mistake when I was prepping it, but I managed to save it, so it's okay. Like so. And then just go around and just, again, take off a little bit of the edges there on those. And I'll take it on that top one as well. You're just kind of tidying up all these edges, and it just gives you a much, much nicer finish. Didn't cut that one off. 
Okay, so that is what you should have. If I just hold that up there, you can see you just got this little tab on each corner and I've just taken out little bits from all those edges. Okay, then grab the glue again and you're just gonna pop your glue on the little tags. So on the tags facing up, tabs even, not tags, sorry. Right, and then again, bring that one around just like you did your base. Just do that on all those four little They're tabs. They're all now stuck down on my corners. And then with these extra bits here that are the, the reinforced parts, turn it on its side and you just want to put glue just along this outer one. You don't need to put it inside as well. Just literally, oh, you see what I'm doing there? Just splodge your glue along that outer bit. And then you're going to fold that one in side, pop it back up on its side and with your bone tool just go along burnishing that back inside and spreading out all of that glue and it will give you a really nice finish and that glue will harden the edges as well so this becomes a really tough box. Sorry it's really dark there but you can see now what I've just done there. Okay so again just pop your glue on the outer part like so and fold it in and just repeat that on the other okay, side. Okay, so that's now my lid all done. See that? Really nice, strong lid. And then just grab your box and it will sit nicely on top. Now, if you wanted to wrap ribbon around that as well, you can do, but that's a really nice slide, you know, that's got a nice tight closure to it, so it gives it a really nice finish. Um, and there you go. So that box is lovely for other things as well. You could put um, chocolates in this put a nice necklace in there, all sorts. But So it's quite standard in terms of the way it looks from the outside, and then you open it, and it reveals this gorgeous, over-the-top Valentine's